where you at? Let's get tuned in. Now, shout out my boy Dylan S for the reaction request. I'm coming at y'all with Lissy, 64 bars. You feel me? We're gonna jump straight into this. We ain't gonna do too much talking. There's something I want to I hope I ain't reacted to this already. I don't think I did. The new iPhone 13 Pro is here. What do you say? Switch no, to I meant to, but I did bars of steel instead. That's what I think it was. No, I didn't react to this yet. No, so, woo, I was gonna say. Yeah, let me tell you about home. It's more than a place I'm from. More than a place where you think I belong. More than a hood that I rep in my song. Okay, first of all, before I get to this, if y'all watch this far, because my in my video my video said that y'all only watching three to four minutes of my videos. Now I don't know who's doing it, but can you watch the full reaction, please? I mean, if I'm corny or you don't like me, I understand, but you know, just watch the full reaction. It it gets better as it goes on. I don't do I don't do as much talking as you think I do. Right, before I get further into this video, I'm letting y'all know right now I'm not reacting. It. No more chilling until the album drops. So. Just like so y'all know, so y'all get mad at me for not. Where's chilling it? You know what I'm saying? He's coming. He's coming. More videos are coming, but I'm gonna react to the full album live stream. So make sure y'all tune into that at like 12 a.m. on my time, but like I think like 5 p.m. on y'all time. So we we gonna we gonna we gonna yeah. It's coming. I'm going from Woodna, a little town I'm known, sitting on the front line of Ipswich. And if you do your research, Woodna's a town the first rep before three district, but don't get it twisted. It's not a place where drilling is normal, where people be urgent. We hold it down because we come from a place where people feel like they don't have purpose. Mm, he said we holding down because we from a place where people feel like they don't have purpose. Mm, like I said, well, listen, he going to talk to you. He from, I think they said, he, he said he from 4300. Y'all said they get busy down, they get busy out there, so... You know he can't really he can't really live no normal life. He he got he gotta find a way to make it out the trenches. He gotta find a way to make it out. And rap is doing that for him because he's doing his number. He not no average Joe no more. You a star. You know what I'm saying? So man, we just gonna jump to. I know he gonna go crazy. Trying to change that, reframe that mindset that we won't excel. Society will always hate, and they will spread shit just like Microsoft Excel. But still we prevail mm. and produce individuals that's climbing the ranks. No matter on a mic on a field in a cage, we put up the four three to always give thanks. Cause it's the place that made us, raised us, saved us. Four three down to the bone. Tell mm. what I'm talking about when I rep it loud. This is more than a place called home. Four three is a lifestyle. Yeah. And that he said it's more than a place called home. Four three is a lifestyle. You could tell his block made him. Huh? You could tell, you could just tell his block made him because you're not gonna say, you're not gonna say out your mouth that your block is a lifestyle. You just about, oh, that's just the place I'm from. Oh, where you from? Oh, I'm from down, I'm, I'm from uh, over there on what you call that's just that's just my hood. No, nah, you don't if you don't understand the difference of repping your hood, of repping your hood, or telling people where you from, or that or your hood being your lifestyle, then you better do some research. <laughs> because me, me personally, when it comes to my hood. You know, I tell people where I'm from, but I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people know that my hood, my hood made me. You know what I'm saying? My hood made me. My hood made me who I am today. So, my hood, Mexico block, it's a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I just don't put it in my usernames and stuff on Twitter and all that. You know what I'm saying? For professional purposes. You know what I'm saying? Just in case, you know, kids watch me or something. And I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to promote. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the hood. So, y'all gonna, y'all gonna know who I am and where I'm from. But I don't want to promote that type of energy on the net because i'm not trying to do that because i know kids probably gonna watch me and in the future i know kids gonna eventually probably start watching me you know when i start stretching onto other videos so i just don't want to promote that type of message you know so i want to promote more of a positive message but at the same time i'm gonna tell you where i'm from but do it in a positive way so y'all know that I ain't, I ain't i ain't joking around you know what i'm saying so you know so i understand lissy though bro he he talks to me every time he rap you feel me something they have to know it's not just a subway but i reside it's the heart i carry everywhere i go so they have mm. to know yeah, subway go. Mm. It's more than a place I'm from. It's embedded in my blood, and I'm always gonna hold it down to the day that my lifetime's done. I told them I got this. As a young brown man coming up in the world, it's tough. They recognize me, they put me in a factory and expect me to think that's enough. Or tell them get stuff. I'll be on the bus till I say it's enough. I come from a town where there's no good luck. Look, he just he talking to him, bro. That's why I gotta bro, he's talking to him. He said they, they threw me in a factory, expect that's enough. And I relate to that, bro, because when I was 18, I started working in a factory for the first time, and that's not bro. If you've ever worked in a factory before, you understand that that's not it, bro. Nobody has, like, you know, I'm not going to say nobody has, but from who I've seen and who I've worked with from when I was 18 and then when I was uh, 22 and I started working in a factory uh, about a year ago. Yeah, like a year ago. Um, It's not it, bro, because no, it seems like nobody in there has any has any goals or aspirations of making that out. You feel me? It's like I was the only one in there 
with like a totally different mindset than anybody else. Like everybody else is talking about, oh, we'll, oh, next check. Oh, we get paid weekly. Next. I don't give a, I don't care if I'm getting paid weekly, bro. If I'm not happy there, I'm a dip. You know what I'm saying? Like I end up dipping and, you know, thank God I dip because I end up getting a job at Walmart. But it's like being in a warehouse is not mentally, it's not it. You have to like be like a worker for like your whole, you have to be like, cool with that you know what i'm saying I'm, i know it's there's people out there who who work in warehouses who's not cool with that and they just stack up their bread to you know to do other things and i and i respect that but for the people who was i was working with who was in there who was just because i was mainly working with felons you know what i'm saying so like a lot of them just didn't have hope for themselves and a lot of them was in there game banging and i was just the only one in there with like a different head like i don't want to be here for the rest of my life bro like i don't want to be 40 50 working in a, a warehouse just to make ends meet i want to you know what i'm saying i want to use this money and obviously i didn't because i had poor money management but i don't i don't want to be i don't want I'm, if i'm gonna do something with this money i'm gonna use this money to chase my dreams when obviously i didn't know I, I knew what my dreams was i just didn't have any you know i didn't have the platform yet to to chase them and i didn't have you know what i'm saying so i say all that to say this a fact whether it's a factory job a nine to five or whatever me to me personally that's not it especially if you're from the hood if you're from the hood you got to use that money to try to chase a bigger dream because we don't have the luxury of having money and big jobs or corporations you know from these rich from these rich families lent, you know lent to us we have to we have to go get it we have to go get it we have no choice but to go get it you feel me so i'm just praying i'm just praying y'all take that advice and y'all understand where i'm coming from i ain't even mean to talk this much i don't even like talking this much i normally let, just let the music play and you know just speak my mind a little bit but you know, I just I be having to break I be having to break this stuff down because I want to use my platform to save people. You know what I'm saying? I want to use my platform. When people watch me, I want people to realize like, oh, he right, you know, I'm trying to be a boss. I'm not trying to be no worker for the rest of my life. You know, so I'm not trying to promote being a worker. The only thing I'm gonna promote is yeah, get, get your ass up and get a job so you can get that check. But when you get that check, do something with it, invest it, save up and buy a building. You know what I'm saying? Not a bit just a bit any building, but save up, buy a building, start a business, you know what I'm saying? Get a loan. Do do what you gotta do to so you don't have to work no more. If you can't go to sleep and make some money, you 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 doing it wrong. We always work hard that we never give up. Even when we feel like that, we don't have much. See, I just that's told facts. you. That's why I stand for my community. Always making the most. I just told you. For a greater purpose than you and me, because it's all for the place I'm from. No jumper on, but I raise my hood up. It doesn't matter where I be. I always be that young kid coming straight out of good now. Man, this place is where my people live and die, brother. I could never lie. Yeah. They never knew that this place is a place where mates soon turn into brothers. This is my home G town. I'ma hold it down for that west side for 300. They can talk about running the ball. Oh, three, double I give props to our boys, Thomas, Mika, Elliot, and Philip Summy. And if they want to throw it down with us, who out there was the beef of those souls? They don't know about them four three hairs like Ezra, James, and Bolo Alcuso. See, that's four three excellence. My town stay down, stay proud. That's what we represent. And my people stay messaging. They love how I hold it down, no questioning. I'm a stay down for my home. Even if this is a place where struggles known, I'ma let them know. Then we're gonna roll through ripping that four three double low. Cause it's G, O, and A, good num. And it runs in my DNA. We never had much, but still we grind into the day. Come to me, see that pain. And I never ever sit back. Pulled on for my town when I did that. And now I think about the kids, how they're coming up. And all I wanna do is give back. You see, bro, 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 bro. That's crazy. It's crazy I chose to listen to this, bro. Cause I'm trying to do the same thing, bro. I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram or not. But, bro, I've been saying when I get that ticket and when I get out the hood, bro, I want to come back, like, with a big-ass truck, with a big-ass truck, and call, like, a pizza company or something that's in my city and had to pull up some uh, this park that, um you know, I used to always post up back called Hill Run. And I just want to bring a whole bunch of bikes and just give it back to the kids and uh, invest money into my community, the community that raised me, the, the community that made me. And it's funny that he say that he want to do the exact same thing, but we're the same person, bro. It's crazy. He repping his hood. We're the same person when it comes to wanting to give back. Bro, protect Lissy, bro. Give Lissy his flowers while you're here. And that's going to be the caption. Give Lissy his flowers. Because he has the potential to be a big name in, in the rap scene where he's from. He already is to me. He a star to me. I don't know about y'all. He may be local to y'all, but he a star to me. So, I rock with Lissy heavy. This made me have a, little, a lot more respect for him. He chose he chose the opportunity to come on Red Bull and not just spend 64 bars of randomness. He chose to come on 64 bars and rep his hood. That's the type of time. And I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> hey, I'm wrestling Lissy, though, bro. I appreciate the reaction, Dylan S. Give me a fist bump, bro.
I appreciate that. But I guarantee I never did this all on my own. I wanted the people who surrounded me and the place we lived in that always kept us close. So listen when yeah. I say where we're from is not much, but let it be known. Four, three, double low. I told you my house was more than a place called home. He said, I told you it was more than a place called home. Ooh, that boy Lissy cold. He cold. He cold. He cold. He cold, man. I rock with Lissy, man. I rock with him heavy, bro. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. He just be speaking his mind, bro, on these tracks, and he just be letting it all out, bro. That's why I respect these Australian artists, because I be having a lot of passion behind y'all lyrics, no matter what y'all rapping about. Y'all could be rapping about the club, but y'all still got a lot of passion behind it. Y'all got my respect. Always. Always and forever. If y'all like the reaction, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all press that post notification bell for post notifications. Make sure y'all keep chasing y'all dreams. Remember hard work, dedication, and prayer. Take your nights out.